Everybody needs help sometimes, Peter. Even Spider-Man. Revenge is like a poison that can take us over. And before you know it, it can turn you into something ugly. <gasps> the suit. Where'd this come from? The power. Feels good. In Spider-Man 3, Peter Parker takes a walk on the dark side. Whoa! Spidey, love the new outfit! And action. Hoping to take advantage of that darkness, the new villain, Eddie Brock, also known as Venom. Tougher Grace is a fan favorite in the film, and he's the first to admit he grew up a huge fan of Spider-Man. I was a huge fan of the comic book when I was, uh, you know, kind of in the late 80s, when I was like in fourth or fifth grade collected the comic book and Todd McFarlane had just started illustrating it who like you know was blowing everyone away with his amazing illustrations and at that time uh, Venom was born um, he created this amazing character and I remember just loving it and after Venom Carnage and just loving these new characters so when Sam offered me the role in the room I had to be really cool because I immediately wanted to say like yes and I'll pay you to do it what's happened to you I don't know. But I have to stop it. Parker. Comes after two of the most successful films ever where there was a really bold line between good and evil that they've made that line kind of fuzzy and there are a lot of shades of gray in this movie. You're not sure if uh, Spider-Man's even really a, a good or a bad guy in this movie. And that's dealing with um, the real world in a fictional setting in a really great way. And I think introducing to younger people like the notion that there, there isn't always like a perfect right answer. I come before you today humbled and humiliated to ask you for one thing. I want you to kill Peter Parker. And so it was great playing Eddie, because he's the same way. There are moments in which you really feel sorry for Eddie. And then moments with you know he's made a bad choice and he's going to get punished for that. But uh, I love that about this film from the first time I read it. Playing a nightmare of Spider-Man is a dream come true for Topher Grace. Appearing on the big screen with the spider was a big deal and a surreal deal from day one. Parker. Probably the first day I was in the Bugle. It's my first day shooting. I've been such a fan of the first two films. I thought, um, y you know, I and mean, it's like going to Disney World or something. They say like, "We'll put you in the movie," but I was like, "In it," and, you know. J.K. Simmons like, you know, Brock, get in here. You know, the cigar and, a, uh, you know, I was just smiling ear to ear. And I was supposed to be mad in the scene, so I kind of think I messed up a couple takes. But I was just so happy to to be on set and, and you look over and like there's Toby playing Peter Parker. Hey Parker. It's great to be in one of these trilogies in the moment that it's a huge uh, cultural thing and, um, and, and that you're actually a fan of it. Coming up next on Hollywood One on One. Come on, I got you. Ready? Yeah. Let's go!